here. We know how to put the shoulder. We've done this a few times. We know how to do this. We know this position. So the, instead of doing this, uh, go ahead and show again. You put the shoulder. No, 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 just like that. Just put the shoulder. And then as you put the shoulder, he eventually, like he's trying to finish you, but he can't. He eventually lets go. You go to posture hands on the biceps. Mine. Posture hands on the biceps. Good. So that would be your, your initial movement. But you know that now. Mm -hmm. So now when he guillotines you, you're gonna lock a Von Flew choke. So when we go to the Von Flew from inside the guard, we still have to lock, and we wanna remember this arm is palm up, okay? Yeah, this hand is palm up. This one is palm down. So you guys wanna have this lock. When you do this, now the choking arm is gonna be trapped. Choking arm's trapped. He has a good grip so that Danny on bottom can't pull the arm out, and now the choke will, will, will choke him enough. Now he's not gonna tap. What Danny will eventually will do when he feel like he can't do it anymore, see how he's using his left hand to try to pull to survive? We're gonna stay there until Danny is forced to use his legs. And what I mean by that, he'll open his guard and he'll start using his legs to try to sweep or whatever. And that's the moment that Eddie starts to pass and gets past the legs. Sometimes it goes into a, uh, like a step-by-step -step from full guard to half guard and then from half guard to side control and from side control to the kill, to the finish. So it starts right here in the guard. Um, you guys kind of have to fight it out a little bit just to kind of show how the progression works. So he's choking him. Eventually, Danny will start to use the legs. He'll start to realize that he's got to get this guy off of him. It goes to half guard, then if more pressure comes, maybe he's trying to lock down, that's okay. More pressure comes, the pass happens, and now the back step, Eddie. Are you gonna back step, hold it, and keep it right there, and that's when we get the finish of the Von Flew choke, okay? Sure. OSP's been that's like sweet. pretty famous for, for this as well. There's definitely some variations on Von Flew that we can show you, but for the for the basics, go ahead, try it. You get caught in a guillotine, full guard, we go up. Once you get to this point, you already know how to do this. We don't just wanna let, get out of it, we wanna make this guy pay for his mistakes, right? If we can trap it. Now you gotta make sure it's trapped. There you go, now keep that pressure. Once he starts doing stuff, there you go, you start passing, and then good pressure back step. Give me a left, left leg back step. No, no, no. The left leg. There we go. Hold it. And Stabilize. And then even the long flute position at the end where we back step, you have to practice that so many times so you have perfect balance. I've yeah. seen a lot of guys do it and they lose their balance. You gotta learn how to stabilize. It's very important to be consistent. Don't lose your balance. The guy on the bottom, some guys that are fresh, they still have energy, they're bridging like crazy. They're gonna do whatever they can to survive. They don't wanna lose. They're gonna fight, they're gonna bridge, they're gonna move, they're gonna hip escape. When they're hip escaping and bridging, you cannot lose your balance. So you need to learn how to stabilize. Everybody needs to practice it on both sides and get good at both sides, all right? Sir. All right, ready, let's go. Hi right, guys, real simple. Uh, the Von Flew choke you can get, you can get uh, this lesson anywhere, right? Um, I don't know how often people speak about doing it inside the guard. I know it's spoke of before, but uh, inside the guard, start inside the guard, and it progresses to a guard pass. You may be questioning like why, like maybe the, isn't the guard enough? But when a guy is leaning on you, and he's got you locked up in a Von Flew, you have the guard, your legs eventually may not be enough. Now, depending on body types, there could be a body type out there where you've got a great guard and you can keep somebody off of you so it doesn't cause you to, to kind of pass out. But for most people, this is very viable. The pressure, if someone knows how to put the shoulder pressure properly, it's, it's too much, and then what will happen is the bottom player will start to use their hooks, like butterfly hooks, to try to uh, push them away and, and get them to flip. And during that time, a good top player can get a nice little guard pass going. Even if at least a half guard, half guard then is worse. It's like frying pan into the fire, and then the fire into hell when you get in that Von Flew. All right guys, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time with more great stuff.